Moving on over to Normandy, we have a battle in the VK45.02A, played by Lipago Du69. But to shorten that, we'll just call him Pago today. Anyways, Pago is going to start moving over to the center ridge line of the map, maybe get some initial spots out, some initial shots out, see if anyone's going to be done this round, and uh, Tim is slowly trundling out of spawn, and then we'll see how this all plays out. Now, personally, I don't really want to get this tank. I mean, I'm currently going down the line to get it, because when you don't really have armor, uh, you have some hit points. You, the gun's all right. Uh, the things you really have going for you is really your mobility, and I guess the gun. And uh, I guess that P44 has lost connection, or he's a troll, one of the two. I don't know. But, uh... With that, it's going to be resulting in a 6 versus 7 in the first 40, 50 seconds of the battle. Now our friend Pago here is just going to start putting shots around and see if he can start lowering the hit point pools of the enemy's team. And he's getting quite a nice amount of shots out on this poor SC-152. Now he's going to refocus his attention on this KV-4, P-44, and this uh, whatever is... I think it's still that SC if I recall. Looks like the right side is having a tough time there. It looks like a 2 versus 4, possibly 2v3 over there. Not too good. It's a nice little shot between the buildings there on the T49, but also takes a hit in return. Unfortunately, it's going to pop up here, put one into the P44, and back out yet again. Now, like I said, the armor is not so good, but uh, somehow he makes it work, and I don't really understand, but uh, we'll go with it. Gets a nice little side shot into there with the P44, bringing it down to a 5 versus 5. Now he sees that the enemy is starting to push on the right side pretty hard, so he decides to move up here, maybe get some shots on this SV-152, trying to clear him, bring him out of this game. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Looking for them shot opportunities, but decides to refocus his attention on this KV-4. Although, looks like the shot did not hit where he wanted it to, and thankfully, the KV-4 is using the 122mm, which has pretty much no penetration. So he's gonna come out here, get one right under the gun of the P-44, and then the 229, I think, clears him, if I recall. Yep, we're bringing it down to a 3 versus 4. Now, the enemy has a lot of hit points that he's got to shoot through, and so do they, but it's still a 3 versus 4. Gets one into the side of the KB-4, gets around him here, starts putting shots into the side of this poor KB-4's turret. Now, I don't quite understand why the AT-7's using the pew-pew gun trying to shoot the, uh, the KB-4. Not the best decisions, but uh, alrighty. It's a nice little shot on the side there with an engine fire. Getting a nice little 441 roll. Just trying to see if he can get a sneaky shot on this T-49 through this bunker, it looks like, although to no avail. So he's gonna refocus his attention back towards this M4, FL-10, and a mil one just to make sure they don't push out and start putting shots into him. And well, there's the 49 again, although he just disappeared exactly as soon as I said that. He's gonna do that a couple of times before people start making some moves here. Yep. Now it looks like our friend here, Pago, is gonna start moving up to this T29, trying to, I don't know, maximize their hit point and effectiveness together as one. And here come all the auto loaders and everything, all jumping into the match here. Pago's gonna try to keep his frontal armor towards the enemy. Hopefully. Oof, an unfortunate miss there on that M4 FL-10, just hitting the left of the uh, gun. He's bleeding quite a lot of hit points here, which is not what you want to be doing in this situation, but what kind of choice does he have? At least he's getting a lot of very nice bounces from these guys, allowing for him to keep himself in the game. The T-49 missed once, and I can promise you he will do that again. He looks like he's just trying to work down this uh, M4 FL-10 with another unfortunate miss to the left of the uh, turret yet again. And I don't quite understand where the T-29 is going, but he's uh, he's going to be doing his own thing. And the T-49 is going to miss again. I don't quite understand why, but uh, he does. Now, he brought it down to, well, the T-29 brought it down to a 2 versus 2 situation. Looks like the enemy don't really know what they're doing. The T-49 is just going to run away for the time being. And this T-29 decided face-hugging and a mil 1 is the best idea. Which I can assure you, it definitely is not. And that's why. Pago gets the clear on the email, bringing it down to a two versus one. Oh look, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Alrighty then. Throws an HE shell into the side of the 49. Didn't even aim, just threw there. It panned very nice, very nice indeed. T49 gets the clear on the poor T29. That's okay, because Pago comes in, clearing him, and ending the game.
5.8k damage, 3 kills, ace, not a bad game, not a bad game at all, especially for this tank because it's not one of the best tanks in the game, but it is a pretty spicy game. And like always with these battles, thanks to the team for doing absolutely nothing, allowing for our friend here, Pago, to get the damage. And with that note, I'll make my leave.